What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Um, before this podcast starts, this is like one of our only podcasts. Actually, a lot of them are, but like this podcast is definitely 18 plus. Um, so if you're 15, just don't tell your fucking parents you're listening to this shit <laughs> because uh, because it's it's. I mean, or it's if a, you're in the car with your mom and dad right now, go to the next podcast. Go to the next podcast. <laughs> it, this is. But we're having Corinne on the podcast, so <laughs> we're, we're gonna be talking a lot a lot say about no different just say it sex talk and you podcasts. Get very in- and we're we're gonna get into it. All right, roll the intro music. <laughs> Guys, uh, another guest here today that we have is Corinna. Corinna, introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Corinna. Corinna's super... Sorry, I was looking at Natalie. Corinna's super horny right now. <laughs> super, just wet. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not. I mean, no. <laughs> David and Corinna are horny. Oh, Let's take that clear. back. Uh, David's, I have David's a David's just as horny, I think. David's been walking around showing off his big butt and his new sweatpants yeah all natalie night. and i had a competition we blindfolded our friends and we had them touch our butt to see which one was bigger guys natalie did win i don't really care if my butt's bigger i was i'm just a really competitive guy yes sore fucking loser <laughs> no okay yeah natalie won natalie's butt is it is way bigger and we put on the same sweatpants yeah and i looked at mine and i looked at hers yeah i was like oh this is no, no contest no contest at all yeah really? yeah natalie yours looks yeah. like my ass went around and ate a bunch of other asses and and um, I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You you have a very big ass. I can't see it myself, so I don't like. I can just hear what other people say about it. But I don't know about it myself. <laughs> oh my god! I just I just it's hear not, not I just right. hear people talk about it. I just never actually. I never even looked. Do I have a butt? Do I have one? Shut up! I'm not an idiot. You don't you don't go in a full length mirror before you go out and turn around and look behind. Yeah, and but see? even when I turn my body, my butt also turns my body, so I can't really get a good view. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's trying to check her ass out. Why does my butt turn with the rest of my body? <laughs> does anybody else's body do this? All right, Corinna. So you, um, the other day, the other day you were mentioning that your first concert was Lil Wayne. Yeah, it was. But I had. Corinna um, said the first time she went to Lil Wayne concert, he grabbed her hand, and that was the first time she's ever been wet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had um, like four posters all over my room. I love Lil Wayne, and I begged my mom for tickets, and I went with this boy that I lost from virginity to. After the Lil Wayne concert. Maybe. Oh wow! I don't know. I don't remember. I have a really bad memory, but it's yeah, it's all adding up now. He he grabbed my hand and sang like probably like seven words of "How to Love" to me, and I like cried, and that was definitely the first time I ever got wet. Holy shit! No, it's probably not the first time, but it was a, a major, a major wet moment in my life. That's such an experience. Imagine like your first boner is like when like like somebody grabbed your hand and started singing to you. Like that'd be a <laughs> fuck. That'd be a lot happening. Back then it was like comparable to like Harry Styles grabbing my hand. Like that's how I would compare it back when I was 14. No, sure. But like imagine how overwhelming that is. Like your celebrity crush is not not only grabbing your hand, but you're having this like a very like specific moment. Like imagine having all that once just hit sure. you. It's like a star exploding. Like mm-hmm. that's probably what it what it's like. I don't know. I know a girl. My first pants. kiss was Usher. Her first kiss was Usher. Her first kiss, yeah. Someone set it up. It was like not Ellen, but some like Good Morning America or something like that. Oh wow! Yeah. What did she say? Did she I like that? I don't really. It's like one, my best friend from home. It's like her friend, so I never like talked to her about it. But I, I saw the clip and everything. You know, Usher a... was like one of my first crushes as well. Oh, did you go to a concert of his? No, I didn't. But my grandpa used to fly like jets, and he flew um, artists like um, yeah, private jet. No, 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 like writers, like artists, like writers. But like he, for some reason, flew him one day and got an autograph for this girl that like was at his barn or whatever. And I literally like ignored him for like a week because he didn't give me an autograph. He didn't give you an autograph. Corinna, when did you know him. you were better looking than everybody else? Um, <laughs> at what point? Maybe just like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> when David started putting me in the vlog. Were you? Yeah. Were you like? Were you the best looking girl in your high school? No. No. No, I I got the attention from the boys because I fucked Had a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to like, open eyes. <laughs> you know the guys that came to my uh, me and Ellie's birthday thing. Yeah, they came to the bar. Yeah, like I think out of four of them, I probably like sucked off or tried to suck off like two or three. Oh my god! So when she introduced me to one of her guys. I'm just gonna make up a name. She's like, she goes, "This is Chris. I sucked him off." <laughs> That's what I said. And he looked at me like fucking like Corinna just threw rocks at him. He was like, "Uh, uh." He, he got he got so panicked and so scared. He's like, "Uh, yeah." But, but in high school, a long time ago, yeah. I was like, "Dude, chill, man." She sucked off all of you. You're good. <laughs> he yeah. was so nervous. It's like literally Corinna hit him with the train <laughs> yeah um, i'd say most of my body count has definitely come from high school like yeah. i like i thought at one point it was cool to see how many guys you could have sex with 
Like it was a game. I was like, oh yeah, the more guys I have sex with, like the cooler I am. That's impressive. That's literally how I and thought. And then you didn't have enough. You went back and you did it with one of your teachers. Yeah, I did fuck one of my teachers. That's pretty cool. That, that's that, great. That is like, that I is had an, graduated, obviously. Yeah, but already. that is like an actual thing that's like What grade did cool. you get that semester? No, she graduated. No, graduated. Oh, it was after. Yeah, what grade after. did he give you when you were in class? Well, I actually remember one time vividly, I had like a bad grade and I was like, Oh yeah, like Vividly. are you really thinking? like I tried to get like you talk dirty almost to him and he was like, knock that off. Like I'm not tolerating this shit. But I was trying to like be like, Oh yeah, you're gonna give me a C or like I don't know. He was like, Knock it off. You're not doing this and I was like, Oh sorry. Oh my and god. And I fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> so who won? Me. Yeah, I guess you did, but you still got the C in the class. Yeah. Yeah. One time I had sex with this guy. <laughs> he had a fucking water bottle dick. Like you know those big like ice mountain water bottles? Or what what's the brand we have here? Arrowhead, like the ones we with def- the- hold on. We definitely don't have Arrowhead. Let's clear this up. We are, not an Arrowhead. we are not an Arrowhead household. We don't have that here. No, like LA brand is Arrowhead, but you know the ones with like the, the tops on them? Yeah, Ice Mountain. Like the fat ones. Like I swear to God, this guy had a dick like a water bottle. Are you saying- It was the worst sex of my life. Okay, it was too big. Horribly big. Okay. It was like eight, nine inches and the girth of a fucking- <laughs> elephant trunk and that's why i stopped dating todd <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was Todd. okay so you what you're saying size does matter but also oh, it could yeah. be too big oh i prefer a small pp jason <laughs> <laughs> not small but like averagely Here, here's my friend jason <laughs> have you ever thought that maybe you could be lil wayne when you meet fans when when teenage boys come up to you at the mall and they're like oh, i'm a fan oh, do you no. feel like you're i think you're missing a lot of opportunities with your brand by the way i think you should have like pinup posters Calendars. Yeah, you're right. You should have a straight up calendar. Yeah, you really should. I would if I had like a nicer body, but yeah. That's I'm saying crazy. like Natalie no, Natalie literally, literally, literally just shook no. her head like what the fuck I'm is she saying? I'm not saying it like that. Like I I think that like I'm skinny, but I don't think that I'm toned. Does that make sense? Krina, you we talked about this the other day. You are in the top percent of sexiest okay, people alive. That's our opinion. It's not our opinion. That's the opinion of the world. Why okay. do you think you have followers cuz you're fucking beautiful? That's why. You have just as many followers as I do. Carly has followers. I don't know. I can't take myself out of that mm-hmm. one. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I think that I'm skinny. I, I am very confident in my body, but I don't. I think it could be better. I think I could be more toned. I think I could work out. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying like, oh, I think I'm fat or whatever. I think you can definitely kill a calendar. I think I would want to be in better shape. Why are you sure. touching yourself? Not necessarily right now. skinnier, but more toned. Corinna, stop rubbing your poops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like sometimes it's just nice to play with them. You get to pick the photos that go in the calendar, though, and it's only one per month. There's 12 photos. Out of 12 photos, you have how many hundreds of photos on your Instagram? 12 of those photos are gonna come out. Like, Natalie wants this calendar more than anybody. <laughs> All right, Natalie, I'll give you 10%. I'm just supporting my fellow women. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, and and not even like a Playboy calendar, just like a pretty photo shoot, like in the flowers. Like you don't even have to show your body off. Like literally, your face I, with like. I really like, don't believe many people would buy that. Sorry, then. I'm chiming in again but there's just like so many when i like look at you and your brand personally like i've thought about this before which is why i'm so heated about it but when i look at you and your brand i feel like there's so many like endless opportunities that you could be doing to make like, i know you make great money now but so many opportunities even with like pouty girl and like yeah whatever you're you just you i think you i'm just scared general. of failure i don't know cool. <laughs> Carina, no, I, what, what textbook did you read that from? No, can we listen. get back into the dick sucking? <laughs> <laughs> can we stop talking about my career and talk about Cox? Maybe I should go into the porn industry. Huh? Porn? No, we're not saying porn. David offered me like millions of dollars to do a porn if he could have all the rights to it. I didn't. I offered you and Todd $250,000 each. Okay, whatever. It's not millions of dollars okay. and you guys turned it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, when are you going to get that family channel going? You always talk about that. Krini, you're also the No, co- I do want a family channel eventually. Where do you yeah. see yourself in five years? I do want a family channel eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see myself having family. In five years? Yeah, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, I want to like work, but I want to be able to like be home with my so kids. So in five years, you want to have kids? In five years, I'll be almost 30, yeah. That's not a long time. That's, that's right around the corner. Yeah, I know. Time ah. flies. Karina's I mean, gonna, be, gonna be good with kids. She was a nanny. Thirty. Exactly thirty. Um, I always thought that, like when I was younger, I always thought like by twenty six, that's when I was gonna. Yeah, like, and then when you get meet older, my guy, mm-hmm. have a family. You totally still thing. could. You're twenty three. I know. I like could potentially, but just just like from growing up and being more mature and having like a different outlook on life, like I don't know if I'd want that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends. Maybe if I'm the right person, then I'll be like. No, I want kids at like twenty nine or th- like thirty, like twenty nine, thirty latest. Yeah. I want kids around 49, 50. 
Whoa. Yeah, your sperm will really, be Really, Grandpa? Yeah. That's crazy. You're going to start then? I want to spread myself thin too early. Oh, man. You don't want to be chasing those kids around when you're 60. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. If you ever wanted to start your own podcast, you might think you need all kinds of equipment to set it up. Turns out, all you need is Anchor. Anchor is an all-in-one free tool from Spotify that lets you create your own podcast and get it heard everywhere. With Anchor, you can record, edit, be heard on all listening platforms, and they'll even pair you with sponsors to help you get paid for your show. It all works in your web browser or right from Anchor's mobile app. And best of all, it's totally free. Start your podcast with Anchor today by going to anchor.fm slash the views. That's anchor.fm slash the views. Corinna does this thing in the car where she'll say like the the greatest stuff for the vlog. All the stuff will spill out of her mouth. Like, she'll really say like the funny, craziest thing in the car. Craziest things. And then we'll turn the camera on and she's like, no, I can't. Cor where the camera's not on, Corinna goes, Corinna goes, I wish instead of rain, it was just cum falling out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I turn my camera on and I was like, what did you just say? And she goes, no, 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 no. Yeah, but you guys act like I didn't let you put in the vlog the time where I told you that I wanted like six guys to come on top of me she she did say that once and she let me put in that vlog and i appreciate and it wasn't it. that it was like yesterday did you guys you know, like tried to refilm it like eight fucking times and i didn't know what you wanted i'm already that was definitely weird when i first started hanging out with david when he took me to his parents house and his parents were in florida yeah my parent yeah that was awkward we went to we went to my parents house and my parents were out of town and i brought jason over and i told them like I told my parents, I'm like, Jason's staying over. And they were really weirded out because they've never met Jason. And all they saw was like 10 videos of him. And he He's was 45. 45. <laughs> they thought. You were gay? They, yeah, they, they thought he, I was fucking him. It took my parents a while to say yes. And then. And I would have then, thought the same thing. Yeah. They, they, when they finally said yes, my dad prefaced it with, just don't go in our room. Okay. <laughs> so it was like. It was, Can you imagine you it was almost and a 45 like year old man going into your parents' yeah, room? Yeah. It was almost like him giving up and being like, okay. If this is what my son wants. Just don't, go just don't fuck room. him in our room. <laughs> um, I felt like that's kind of what my parents thought. But you no, should I, ask him now if he thought you were gay at the time. No, it's not that he. I, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what they thought? I would have had my suspicions. If it makes you feel better, Jason, I slept at David's house too once. Yeah, I'm he sure showed they me were his guinea pigs. <laughs> I turned his dad, gave him a high five. Oh yeah, Corona, the door. Corona slept over once <laughs> when we when we still lived in Chicago. Yeah, but it, she slept in. A, that's the the first day I met her. Corinna slept over. And he why? showed me his you, guinea you pigs. You live like 20 minutes away. No. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. But my my parents weren't home, so I let her sleep over. But she slept in my sister's room. Uh, and I honestly, we hit it off. Not in like a sexual way, but as like friends, I feel like that's why I slept over. Yeah. We were just like, oh, yeah, we're having a fun time. Like, let's sleep over. And she slept like, in my we... sister's room, and I went next door I think to my I was room. bummed, though, because I think I wanted to not sleep in your sister's room. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine it's like... I, I remember when I first met Corinna, like, David, like, picked me up in the Tesla, and, like, we were riding around, and then we picked you up, and then you got in the back seat, and Dom was in the back seat, and I was, like, looking at you and Dom, and then I looked at myself, and I was like, oh, wow, he's assembling, like... <laughs> A bunch of like uh, archetypes here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like the fucking weed smoker, the old washed up comedian, and then the hot ditzy fucking slut. <laughs> and I was like, oh wow, this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the sweet spot. That was the first time we all hung out. Yeah, it was definitely one of the first times I met Krinner because I remember you were in the backseat of the Tesla just fucking talking your mouth off. You were like, <laughs> you were like, bah, 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 like talking a mile a minute. Well, I remember when you came into the group, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, and then we would all make jokes. Like, it you was kind of serious, but kind of joking, like, oh, yeah, he's replaced all of us. And like, I was like, oh, I don't know about this guy. Like, who is this guy? Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember people you know. were jealous at first because I was filming with you so much. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Seriously. Yeah. Oh, you're going to film with Jason? People were jealous? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, everybody. I mean, really? I only would say yeah myself. Oh, I never feel like that. I always feel like no, obviously not anymore. But when first we're like, oh, who's this new guy? Like, why is he getting all? This now they're more happy that I don't drag him as many places as I drag you. Yeah. Yo, the other day, you want to know something? I, I went on the Kelly Clarkson show today, which was really fun. Oh yeah, how was that? Shit, she's the best. So much going on here. I didn't even bring it up. She's like really, really, really nice. Is she? Yeah. And oh great. Yeah, and I met Octavia Spencer. Too. Uh huh. She's Oscar. It was really funny because Kelly introduced us. She's like. Uh, I'm here with Oscar Oscar Award winner Octavia Spencer and YouTuber David Dover. <laughs> it's just such a funny thing to be sitting next to somebody. What did they ask you? So talented. I don't know. We were just talking about stuff. Oh, we told the story of me marrying your mother. Yeah. And Natalie told me that pe people loved it so much that they were crying of laughter. Like I didn't really. Yeah, we turned around to like the other people in the audience and even like her live band. They all like put their instruments down and they were like, "Wow, that was a good one." And they were like dying, literally really? dying, crying of laughter. Yeah, it was so funny. Did Kelly like it? 
Yeah, no, she definitely, she definitely liked the story. Yeah, um, but what, what, what I was gonna say, this is the story I wanted to tell on Kelly, but um, Megan publicists told me not to. Um, but the other day, the other day, I was, I was, I was right here. I was right by the bathroom, and I heard something in my closet, and it was like, <laughs> that's what I heard in my closet. And I was like, fuck, like something's going on in there. And I went to go turn around to go into my room and check what it was out. And then right when I got to my door, I stopped and I was like, if that's me from the future, <laughs> I don't. Megan nicks this. If that's, <laughs> Good if job, that's Megan. Because I thought, I thought that could be me from the future arriving in my closet to fix something about present David. And I was like, I don't want to. No, listen, I said, I said, I'm not going to go back there. Because I don't want to run into myself because <laughs> that'll fuck up everything. So I literally stopped and I was like, fuck it. I'm walking out the door. I don't want to get in, in my way. So, so I walked out the front door knowing that I may possibly have landed from the future in my closet. Does that, does that make sense? Were Am you I making fucking sense? high yeah, yeah. or like on crack? No, I'm not. I wasn't high. It was like a serious thought because like shit, can, shit like that can fucking happen. Sure. Right? We'll like, be right back on Kelly Clarkson <laughs> after this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kelly, listen, I saw him, I saw him. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Who is this guy? What kind of story is that? Who approved that story no, before no, it? No, Kelly, hey, 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 Kelly, stop. Come with us, sir. Get out of here. <laughs> He's getting taken away in an ambulance. Wow. No, but I was just, I mean, you know what I mean? That could have worked on the talk show, but maybe not for Kelly Clarkson. That's a funny concept. <laughs> maybe but not like, anywhere. But like, could have made that work. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is like, that was a situation where- What was in the closet? I don't fucking know. Oh, you don't know? You never looked? No, I-, I So it could have been you. I left, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you just left? That's not what you're saying. No, I'm saying it could have been me from the future, and, and you know what I thought? I thought, first I thought, well, that's stupid. Why would he land in my closet when he knows I'm home? <laughs> but then I thought, wait- I, I'm me, so maybe I landed there for a reason because I knew I wouldn't come in and walk in on myself. So I did him the favor of not walking in on him. Right on. Yeah. Does this, this is making sense? Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It makes total sense. Like I knew that he knew that I was going to, that I heard him, but I wasn't going to walk in on me from the future. Right. And you're in the closet anyway, and you know that you're not going to walk in on you in the closet. Now it's getting confusing. No, I, I, you're in the future. What are you coming back to fix? Well, What's that's, wrong here? I don't know that. Oh, okay. That I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to fuck with it. Could have been something. I don't Good know. Good thing you went with the marriage story. Yeah. <laughs> I always think, I always think, like, fucking, I think the craziest thing can happen. I've said this before. I mean, like, I genuinely believe fucking aliens, because imagine this, aliens attack tomorrow, right? Sure. The whole fucking city's on fire. Aliens are coming. It would take you about three hours to accept that as reality, right? Mm -hmm. Like, at first, you'd be like, this is fucking crazy. But then in about two, three hours, you'd be like, yeah. That makes sense. Aliens came down. They're here. Right. Now I got to fend for myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like how quickly you can like be like, oh, this is fucking real. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I think that literally anything can happen. And no, but I, I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, I always think I've said this on the podcast like seven times. I always think that like something happened yesterday. Yeah. Like the world was fucking taken over yesterday and then, yeah. and then they fucking wiped everyone's memories mm -hmm. and we'll never know. And like, so you, what did you do yesterday? These aliens came down. They wiped my fucking. No, what memory. did you actually do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Okay, yesterday I um I was with you. Yeah, we, we shot. We shot two bits. But did that happen? Did that like we don't know. We don't know if that actually. Happened. We have it on video, motherfucker. Yeah, but that was dude. That's all. We just the, watched the clips from yesterday that it, we shot. So it's it all happened. You're making my fucking brain hurt. I'm literally about to leave. It's all part I'm of the alien plan. No, I I hate this conversation. All right, we can talk this about your ex-boyfriend's dick. You ready? <laughs> Grin is back in. Natalie, have you been naughty or nice this year? I'm always nice. I'm so sweet. Natalie, Natalie's been super naughty this year. <laughs> Swarovski has now. just a sparkle for you. Celebrate this holiday season with the must-have designs <gasps> Ooh, for Swarovski. every style and personality that are perfect for gift giving. Nice or self-gifting. Naughty. With its unique silhouettes that celebrate your many sides, Swarovski invites you to feel extra special this season. Whether you're subtle or bold, trendy or refined, prefer rose gold or silver tone jewelry, there's something for everyone. Discover the Naughty or Nice collection with its black and white styles that shine a new light on the angel feather, a symbol of protection, affection, and harmony. Explore the entire collection of bracelets, earrings, necklaces, rings, and watches at a Swarovski near you or online at Swarovski.com. Nice or Naughty, who's keeping score? Everyone should get a little something special for the holidays. Oh my God! I was with Corinna once, <laughs> and when she was when she, when she was no, this was in the vlog when she was dating Todd. Oh yeah. And and like they were just goofing around, like fooling around, and like Corinna put her legs back. 
Mm-hmm. And like Todd kind of went in between her legs a little bit, like as a joke, like a, a little over her belly button. And Karuna just let one go right on Todd's <laughs> face. Oh man! And one time. That's why she gets I, the big money when she streams. Wait, no, no, no. Listen, this one's this one's even better. This is like a better version of that story. One time, me and Todd were like uh, fooling around, and we were butt ass naked, and I was like bent over in like a doggy position, and I like <laughs> spread my ass and was like, "Is there like an ingrown hair right here?" And he literally got you know up in there, and I just let. <laughs> One rip right into his face, <laughs> but ass naked. Uh, fucking crazy, <laughs> crazy you than know, you thinking wait, the wait, wait, future wait. self is in your closet, <laughs> so you don't want to bother him. No, bro, you I know, think that's insane. But you know that like David's never like pooped in front of Liza or even farted. I don't no, even know. Like, I don't do that either. I agree. I'm with David on that. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've never done that. I wouldn't do I that either. I just feel like I get very close to my significant other, and we're like at a point where it just doesn't matter. Sure, and I and like I, if my I boyfriend's think that's gonna totally stick cool. his dick in my ass, why can't I fart in front of him? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so she's had anal. <laughs> one is pleasurable. One is fucking gross. Farting is. Why is it gross? <laughs> because it's disgu- farting is just disgusting. Does it make you think I'm less attractive? It doesn't make no. You, it, no, it doesn't make me think you're less so attractive. What's the problem? But it. it Especially when you do it during like a moment where you're fooling around naked, like so that's supposed to be like this like like pleasurable sexual moment, and then you ruin it by like see, but it wasn't farting. ruined. It, like that. That's when it, that's when I go, oh my god, this can happen at any no, given time. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's what I'm understanding is it wasn't ruined. It was actually like really fucking hysterical because then we both burst it out in laughter for probably a good five minutes. No, that's great. And then continued to have sex. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it was so a it very funny, him. humorous moment. Yes. Okay. And I feel like I've had that happen a lot. I mean, you're you're taking a risk there. Yeah. Oh hell no! You know, well, no, if a no, guy's not gonna let me fart in front of I think, him, yeah, okay. I think, I think that's Corinna. Th- that makes sense. Hell no. Corinna's looking for a guy that will let her fart on his face, and that's fair. No, 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 no. no love no, me no. at my worst, or don't love me at all. Yeah. No. You look like if you want to see my ass, let me pass gas. <laughs> 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 that's that's what Corinna lives by, and it makes sense. It makes sense. Now that we're on the whole sex topic, there's this girl that went to one of my elective classes in high school. And the story was that she was having sex with a guy, and then <gasps> and, have one of these. and then she shat all over his chest and all mm. over him on, on complete accident. And it went around the high school. That's the worst story to go around high school. You, you want to know the story that went around my high school? What? This girl was at a party, and for whatever reason, they thought it'd be a good idea to start fucking on the pool table in front of everybody. And Ooh. then they did anal, and she shit all over this guy's like thousand dollar oh, pool table my in god front of, in front of the party and her name was like whitney or something so they called her like shitty whitney or i don't even know they gave her some really weird nickname okay she put herself in that situation fucking no, in front 100%. of everybody in the pool table how can you both have a story like that you don't have I, one there was i, <laughs> I feel have like tons because yeah. every time you ever meet anybody like one of the first stories like any sexual story you like you talk to anybody it's always a shitting story mm. i've met a lot of friends that are like yeah my friend they used to shit on each other Wait, what? Yeah, every, like I, I actually just weird out. No, but I feel like life. if you ask anybody from high school if they have like a story like that, everyone would have something. Yeah, everyone has one story where somebody pooped themselves. Yeah. In a sexual act. Have you ever given a blumpkin? Yes. Oh my god, you have? What? I've also given Do You a... know what that is, Jay? Yeah, I think so. Wow, what? I've also given a rusty trombone. So, Corinna's given a blumpkin and a rusty <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> a rusty trombone. Do you trombone. know what either of those are? Well, I don't know what a rusty trombone is. First of all, let's talk about this blumpkin. A blumpkin is where you give someone a blowjob while they're taking a poop. Yes. Have you ever done that, Natalie? No. I, explain that to me, Corinna. How did how does that happen? And what part of that turns somebody I mean, on? It's also it's it's goes hand in hand with the whole farting thing. It's just like we think it's funny. Someone's shitting, and I'm not someone. He's shitting, and <laughs> some he's random just like, some oh. random guy we found is shitting. <laughs> and what about the smell? Blow. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't be able to be like. It wasn't that bad. I feel like I guess if it was smellier, I would have been like no. But I guess it just wasn't a. Was it a DJ poop. that was vegan? No, 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 <laughs> no. The I think I mean that one was just. It was, was it a I DJ that I was didn't, vegan? I sucked it, but I didn't suck it till it okay. exploded. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But like the rusty trombone, like what is that? that? I've was never great. heard of that. A rusty trombone is where you eat a guy's ass while you're jerking them off. And, and which DJ did you do that with? Not a DJ, no. And are DJs better at sex? I'm sorry, what part of this conversation did you think I was going to love and want to be a part of? <laughs> I know, I know. David literally <laughs> called Natalie over for this conversation. Well, she you're fire and ice. I think it's like the... the, the think, okay, How rude. do you feel about the rusty trombone? Okay, you've eaten Natalie. ass before? <laughs> no, I haven't eaten ass <laughs> I mean, no, you guys are just very different in, in those. I mean, I'm very different from Corinna, too. I think we're all very different from Corinna, but it's... 
Hey. I'm sorry. I've never. I've. I've actually. We love never... you for who you are. That's the best. Would you part. ever let a girl eat your ass? Never, ever in a fucking trillion years. Why? It's great. That's so gross. Okay. I feel like I don't know. But what why kind do of... you think it's gross? Like, tell me honestly, because I will t- debunk everything. Now, why? Is it gross? Have you ever seen the, the the stuff that comes out of my ass? I would never ever <laughs> right. subject anyone to that. Okay, but There's... the stuff that comes out of your ass isn't on your ass. You don't know that. Yeah, you okay. Don't know well, that. I do. So when. Okay. First of all, you have to realize when you. It's just like. With anything, you don't just like go into it randomly. Like before, I ate his ass. It wasn't just like he had ran a mile and took a shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah. just showered straight he, out of the bathroom. Well, he we took a bath first of all. That's like much different than a shower. A fucking bath where your ass cheeks are kind of like spread in the water. And then also, I made him let both of them actually let me shave their ass. So there was like it was literally just licking skin. So you so shaved wait, his ass. Shave his ass. <laughs> yeah, and then you. That's ate some it foreplay. Out? Hey, yes. Let's let's, uh, let's pause now and jump into an ad right here. <laughs> <laughs> that that was your foreplay. Oh it was, you shaved. No, his it ass. wasn't foreplay, but it was just like, hey, I'm gonna sh-. like I I did it with two boyfriends. Hey, actually. I'm going to shave your ass now. No, like, it wasn't I don't like, yeah, know no. what part it, about that would I get me aroused in any way. I, that I'm wasn't just, the foreplay. But I don't. How do you fucking? How do you even ask that question? I want to shave your ass. See, that's why I don't. I think we're so different because like with my boyfriends it's so close it's not even like a weird thing i was close with my girlfriend i would yeah. never no, be like hey weren't. take this razor and shave my no, ass you crack. were but you weren't in that way because you couldn't even fart around her okay it was just like fair but that was i was just sh- like let me shave your ass and he was like what and i'm like yeah let me shave your ass and he was like oh okay like it, it wasn't <laughs> okay like, weird. fair enough okay i, I can't now that she said it like that yeah when she goes let me shave your ass i'm i'm actually sure. down for you to shave my ass right, all right now. Let's do it. <laughs> no but then after that don't you feel a little bit better like first of all it's soaked do you know what i'm saying there's no hair for anything to be stuck to it's a clean ass well yeah you're literally that, just maybe. licking skin at that point do you know what i'm saying okay i i fuck with that i don't know if i fuck with that because i just feel like I'm also a very like over analytical person, so I feel like the whole time I'm just gonna be like, "Is what if he shits in my mouth? Like, Why would he shit in your mouth?" <laughs> All I, would... I don't know. Like, it's not like he was intentionally gonna do it, but what if he accidentally has to fart or shit? I, I or mean, something I like... think he would make you stop. I don't know. I just I feel like hope, personally, but... it was no you did different... it. You fucking blew a fart right well, in yeah. his face. <laughs> uh, maybe he could have done it back to me, but um, know. there's too many like unpredictable outcomes. Yeah, you there. never no, know. No, I just feel like poor Todd. I mean, I, I would hope that if they were like, "I'm gonna <laughs> fart while you're eating my ass," they wouldn't let me continue to eat their ass but at the same I time i hope this is one of those podcasts no, that a kid a kid shows to his parents <laughs> to show him what this podcast is all about <laughs> and just the fucking mom and dad are sitting there like this is what you've been listening to all i'm saying is when i ate ass it was no different than sucking a dick because it was very clean and it didn't taste like anything that's, that's all i'm saying it, t- it it was no different than sucking a dick fair is there something that interferes with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? All right, leave my kids out of this. Well, BetterHelp <laughs> Online Counseling is there for you. Connect with your professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. It's really convenient. Get help on your own time and at your own pace. You could schedule secure video or phone sessions, plus chat and text with your therapist. Licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma. Anything you share is confidential. And if you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time. No additional charge. There's 3,000 U.S licensed therapists across all 50 states guys it's great because it's available worldwide there's financial aid it's it's available for those who qualify you can start communicating in literally under 24 hours mm, and then i don't have to bother david anymore i just call better help it's convenient it's professional and it's definitely affordable best of all it's a truly affordable option views with david dobrik and jason nash listeners get 10 percent off your first month with discount code views so why not get started today Go to BetterHelp.com slash views. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with the counselor you'll love. That's BetterHelp.com slash views. Corinna, are, is sex with musicians better than sex with regular people? Why do you always choose DJs over civilians? Okay, that's just, it was a coincidence, and it was only Coincidence two. four times? It was two, <laughs> three, whatever. That's one fucking hell of a... It was three. It was three. Well, one was like a low-key DJ. The other two were... Oh, don't do that to him. About you. I mean, he's, he's a big he's DJ. He's not. He's not. Are there songs about you out there? Hell no, I wish. I'm Are you sure? Cool. Yeah, 100%. Justin Bieber Baby. It's about Corinne. <laughs> True. You didn't know? True. No. And then um, Paris by Chase I will say that I, I was with one DJ and he was very freaky and I feel like DJs are freaky and foreign and they like anal and that was great. Other than that, that's about it. Well, you really narrowed it down by saying foreign. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They're all foreign. Corinne, thank you for being a guest on the podcast. Thank you. You're always a friend of the show. We'd always love to have you come back. I'll come back next time. A and friend talk of the about, show. Uh, I love good job, Karina. 
Look at I'm sitting here on the couch right now, and David and Corinne are next to each other. They're actually a really cute couple, you know. No, I could never, ever, ever. Well, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of provide lying. each other what lying. each other don't. I'm not have. lying. No, David, listen I'm not to lying. me, Corinna. I could not. I'll be honest. I'm your friend, mm -hmm. and you you get hungry maybe seven <laughs> times a day, and it's the so fucking. So does Natalie, worst. and she's your assistant. Yeah, but she fucking gets food for herself, Corinna. We'll be sitting on the couch. All I hear from the corner of the room is. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I can work on it, David. So no, and it fucking drives Who me. Who wants Buffalo Wild nuts. Wings? It drives me nuts. Corinna it drives me nuts. And the, and the worst part is, is like we'll be like completely like out of the way driving somewhere, and like Corinna will want to get food, and it's like I mean, Corinna. Uh, I see. I'm already so mad. High no. maintenance. Okay, I, w I do want to say that. You that are high maintenance. You've told me this before, and I've actually tried to work on it. Have you noticed this recently? Yes, I said I was hungry today, but so did everybody else in the room. <laughs> and I know you fucking said Karina, that, Carly. If, if David were to give you a shot and date you, could you curb your appetite? Yes. You are very high maintenance. I am not high maintenance. Would you work on it? Would you be able to work on your high maintenance ness? I'm not high maintenance. I really don't think I'm high maintenance at all. High maintenance in like what way? David, let's just for the podcast, let's let's imagine a world where you guys are dating. What, okay. would, what would it be like? What would it be like? Yeah. Low jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Ass eating. Well, I would I would say that my 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 ass would be a lot cleaner than normal. That's for sure. I would it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I, I think you I think you give each other stuff that you don't have. Like Corinna, like David's like a very uh, driven with his job. He knows exactly what he wants. And David Corinna's hot, and you're no, not. No, Corinna. <laughs> you know, I have thought about this, and there's a, there's one reason why me and David's relationship wouldn't work. One, I can this name is, fucking thirty. This is one in my mind. Everything else is great. I'm utterly in love. With my dog. Oh, and yo, that's to crazy. Carl. And yeah. I literally, I thought about this, like not with David, but just in general. If any one of my boyfriends, no matter how much I was in love with them, was allergic I to love, my dog and couldn't be around him, I literally could not date that guy because that I love my dog. The fact that you've thought about us being together no, recently because no, no, your no, dog's no. pretty recent. The, the fact that you've thought about it, but you're I've like, had it for a year. oh, we can't because. Yeah. Carl. <laughs> like, when, you, when you got Carl, the day you took him, we were like, well, this will cement everything with David. This is, <laughs> I'm closing the door here. I have a new topic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. David went and looked at a $7 million house today, and I got really scared. Why? I was like, hmm. I was like, because, like, you know, leaving this house, that would be weird. Okay, I'll say this. I did go look at a $7 million really house, weird. but I also want to say, why are, do people keep coming to this house? <laughs> I fucking love this house with all my heart. And the reason we have to move is because Natalie's fucking scared she's going to get stabbed in the middle of the night. Yeah. Stop showing up to the house for the love of fuck, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, I want to stay here. I love this house. And you're literally – and this is, this is to like 0.0006% of people listening. Like you are – Literally ruining my chances of living here any longer because Natalie's literally about to fucking drag me out of here because people are still showing up to the house and and it's really really fucking scary. Mm. Okay, there. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I don't want to get a different house. Yeah, don't leave notes in the cars. Don't come see the house. Don't, Natalie. You add to this. Okay. Well, <laughs> to be honest, it's fucking terrifying when there are strangers that show up to the door, and I feel like if anybody put themselves into that situation like take a step back before you walk up our driveway to our front door even like onto our street it's just like it's creepy and it's stalkery and how did you find our address first of all why did you find our address there's you have no business to be invading someone's personal space and privacy it just doesn't make sense the worst but, part is the worst part is that i can ha I, I i can handle it but the, but then you have also on top of it you have my fucking neighbors who have kids and they literally came up to me and they're like we're scared of our kids playing outside because there are people out here and we don't know who they are and there are people that keep pulling up in cars and we're just scared to let our kids play in the front lawn yeah because because there's so many strangers showing up here. And like that sucks. And that makes me feel like such a fucking shitty neighbor. Right. When people show up and my neighbors are coming to me like, hey, like, are you thinking about moving out? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay here? Because we, we can't there's, keep there's doing this. There's nothing you can do. You're going to have to move. Yeah. You could you can say this on 80 podcasts. Okay, guys, let's Wait. get real. Oh, I have something to talk about. Why? Sorry. Corinna, listen to this. Ta <laughs> yes. Cut David's mic. <laughs> <laughs> Cut David's mic, Dima. That's right. Dima works for me. <laughs> Corinna and Natalie, listen to this shit the other day. Okay, let's okay. ready. Okay, I, um, I'm, I'm parked in the driveway, 
And I go, Taylor, can we uh, move the car so I can charge my car? Yeah, Taylor's super nice. Yes, so she moves She moves the Mercedes, and then I take my car out, and I'm waiting for the Tesla to come out. It's taking a little bit of time. Yeah. I'm like, all right, Taylor's getting her thing together. I see the Tesla pull out, and I'm like, okay, cool. Taylor's pulling the Tesla out. I start to back in. All of a sudden, the fucking Tesla comes screaming at me. I'm backing in, and the Tesla's in front of me. So nose to nose, two Teslas. The fucking Tesla's screaming at me, right? And I'm like, oh, fuck. Taylor lost control of the car, <laughs> right? So I... I hit the brakes and what happens? The fucking, hit, the white Tesla hits mine and I'm like, and then I look inside, it's fucking David. <laughs> fucking maniac. With a look on his face, he's like, oh, oh. And then, then, after hitting my car, what does he fucking do? He goes, what the fuck, yes! Jason? What the fuck, Jason? <laughs> I go, what? What? What is going on? What fucking planet am I on? What fucking planet am I on? That this is my fault. You braked. You braked. How the fuck did you break, Jason? I'm going, what? And Carly and Aaron in the backseat, they're like, oh my god, David's fucking lost it. <laughs> and then no. he gets out of the car and he's like, why did you do that? Aaron ends up chiming in because she's in the backseat. And Aaron goes, well, Jason, you did break. It was. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of your fault, and Carly's like, no, it wasn't. It was it was 100% David's fault, and Aaron was like, well, Jason shouldn't have braked, and Jason's fucking standing outside my car, like, fucking screaming. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Of course it was his fault. I was, what I was doing is, I was, uh... It definitely yeah, was not Jason's one. fault. Thank no, you, Corinna. No, it wasn't. What I did was I was driving up to Jason's car really quickly, and then he, he panicked, and he braked, and I didn't know he was going to break. I thought he was going to keep reversing back into my driveway, mm -hmm. and when he braked, I hit his car. It was a little bit of a tap. Nothing happened. No airbag deploy. Good know. thing he bought Yo, you that what car, did Jason. You think? What'd you say, Clint? Good thing he bought you that car, Jason. So I know. That really was the first thing I am I'm like, I know you bought me this fucking uh. car, but fuck off. <laughs> I am so mad at you right now. Sure. All right, guys. That's all the time we have for today's podcast. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.